things I wish I wasn't doing right now. Sweat and bollocks. I know this. I know. Go with the club. Ice on my, ice on my neck. Counting up the check. So groovy girlies, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are doing a haul of some clothes I have collected, bought, and thrifted over the past week or so. You may have seen some of them on my Instagram. I have been so active, right? Why is my ear out? You can go follow me if you want this lovely thing so this lovely bag of clothes is full of things i've been gifted over the past couple of weeks that i really want to share with you guys because they're just like the sweetest clothes ever and the companies are also the sweetest people ever why am i still holding this big ass bag we're gonna start off with brandy melville actually this whole outfit is brandy i didn't realize i've had this skirt for a little bit of a short while and the other day i basically set out to go thrifting but i wasn't that successful so i dipped into brandy melville in covent garden and i got some cute pieces guys i'm so excited to show you but me and my flat chest are starting off with this lovely top today it is longer i just prefer to not have it long and it does actually button all the way down sometimes Sometimes I like to flip the collar up. I think like pretty sexy, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, don't mess with me kind of vibes, you know? I could never, I could never. I could never. Bloody love it, Cleo. I saw it in the window and I was like, that is so similar to my other one. But my only issue with the other one is that, because it's backless, you could always see my bra, even though I'm not even wearing a bra with it. Don't listen to me. I'm completely just messing everything up today. I'm contradicting myself. But I just think this looks really elegant. Very like high fashion. Mm -hmm. Would you look at those clean ass underarms? I'm sorry. Stunning. Bet you'd like to know how to get clean underarms like that, wouldn't you? Ad break pending. <laughs> I'm so cheeky, guys. Tell you what, oh, I quite like this. I feel like this with some light wash jeans would be really cute, no? I also need to tie my hair back. I look horrific. So this one's giving me very high fashion again. I mean, as long as you deck everything out with jewelry, say that with a scrunchie on my wrist. As long as you deck everything out with jewellery, I feel like any outfit can look cute. I basically see my friend Hope wear these all the time, like just these cute little vest tops. And I'm like, Clea, where can I buy them? And I walked into Brandy. Also, I want to know your guys' opinions on Brandy Melville. Like, you guys think it's a good place to shop? Would you class that as, like, bad fast fashion? What's the realm? I want to know your opinion. I've just remembered. I don't think I ever showed you guys this. I don't know if you can see that lovely bruise when we legged it. I got very drunk the other night, and I woke up with the blackest bruise I've ever seen in my life, and it was huge. I use Arna Care Cream. That is, like, literally clearing up my bruises so much. I had the weirdest amount of DMs from you guys saying, oh, you guys have had bruises as well, and you don't know how you got them. So if you're looking to get rid of your bruises, Especially because like you want to wear cute little skirts that are on your legs. Arnica is the one for you, baby girl. Don't even stress it. I've had this for about a week and it's already gone down. Oh fuck. Did you see how unshaved my legs were there? It's quite funny. <laughs> Funny you mentioned being unshaved, isn't it? Such a good segue for my ad, it's actually ridiculous. Right, so, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are fully aware of Estrid by now. I talk about them all the damn time and I've mentioned them in my videos before, but look at these underarms, they're so smooth. And I shaved those two days ago, may I just ask? Two days ago. So Estrid is a vegan razor company that works off subscriptions and you can completely fit it into your routine however you fancy it. For example, I don't shave my legs, that's why they're pretty hairy right now. I've had Estrid for about three months now and i'm still on my first cartridge so i really don't need refills as soon as i thought i did which is even better because it means less money right to shave or not to shave i guess is the question but at least with estrid you can do it with a sustainable vegan brand i mean if you're gonna shave you may as well do it correctly right so in here clear you get <laughs> one time i tried to film an ad and i can't even open it it's normally so easy to open there we go Ooh, she's goody. You get one of these bad boys, which is your actual razor. And then you get two of these, and they are filled with five blades. You also get a wall holder to match your razor. And I'm sorry, I just got this new color base. Literally the cutest color ever. I actually prefer this over the pink now. I'm sure you guys know the drill by now with Estrid, but I am just going to remind you that the strip, this little bad boy, is completely free of animal ingredients, making it vegan. And it also is just so much better for your skin as well. If I were you, I would totally go vegan with your toiletries. Just saying. Now let's see if I can apply it first time like I always boast about. I mean, not to brag, but it did just... 
That's what I get for being cocky, eh? Finally got it on birthday. So a little extra that you can get from Estrid is a travel case, obviously to match your beautiful new razor. I personally wish I had this when I went to Oz because I can't even tell you how many times I lost my razor when I was there. And I had to keep buying packs of six again and then I'd lose them all and it was just not good for the environment, okay? And the good thing is, is that they're only 5 95 If you put that into perspective about how many times I probably repurchase razors from losing them, I feel like it's very cost effective. The wall holder as well makes it super easy and the showering just... Oh, yeah, need to shave. Thank you. If you guys would like to shop Estrid and join the vegan sustainability journey with recyclable packaging, may I just add? The link for Estrid will be in my description and also for the Forces Society because if you guys remember from last time, if you use my code, I don't know has, you can donate one pound to the Forces Society, which helps work towards women's rights in the UK. And obviously, as a woman, that is very important to me. Just before I end this little ad segment, I obviously just want to say a massive thank you to Estrid in general. Probably one of the best emails for me to receive is to work with a vegan or sustainable company, especially you guys. So I'm very vocal about it. So if you have bought from Estra, do let me know what colour you got. I'm looking to invest in a new colour by the end of my subscription, even though I've got two out of the four now. I'm a little bit obsessed. The white top was apparently 20 quid. I wouldn't pay that again, but I did wonder why my bill came to 70 quid. I also got a grey one as well because I don't own, believe it or not, any grey top. But this is cute. You ain't even missing my baby. See this cute little schoolgirl skirt that looks straight out of Pornhub is from Minga. Obviously, a Minga is this. Lord, give me the strength. Minga is a sustainable clothing brand that you guys saw in my sustainable fashion video. Don't know if you remember. I'm sorry, I can't stop like showing the back because like, like it's very sexy, you know? It does actually come with a silver chain. I just took it off because I don't really fancy wearing it. I felt like we should probably style this real cute, real nice. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm winded. So I don't really know how I feel about the jacket. I'd probably go for a lighter one. But this is how I'd style my cute little skirt. Boots. Now Anna's here and I've got to accept the dawn boots. Bits, um, I'm absolutely dripping. I feel like the TikTokers in LA when they're about to get a soul cycle. You feel like you're about to go to Boa Steakhouse and get Hollywood fit. Addison, Addison! What's going on? Oh my god, I didn't know you'd be here. <laughs> oh my god, of course you want a photo. Oh my god, you want a <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Do we like the grey? Oh yeah, we really like it. Where's it from? Brandy, but I don't know how I'd actually style this one. That looks like a shelf. Oh, it's because my black pillow is in the background. I genuinely thought I had a fat ass. You do. I <laughs> don't guess me. Ah! Brown beige is kind of a look, isn't it? I don't even have to try these on. I can just hold it up because they're so structured. <laughs> looks like I'm wearing them. I just want to say the girl in the shop was really nice. So ages ago, I got these little clips. <laughs> don't know if you can see them. Myron and Anna said that the girl that they got served by wasn't the nicest. Like she, she was really rude to the other customers apparently. But the one that I had was really lovely. We were just like talking about tattoos and stuff because she saw them on my arm. I said, oh, I used to have those clips. Like, can I get some more? And they're like 25p. At the end of the transaction, just grab a handful. I really don't care. Ah! So I got two because I didn't want to grab a handful. I was too scared. These are my favorite clips from Brandy. They're super cute. Aww. These are so cool. This is my favorite purchase from Brandy. Ah! It just makes me want to come out the wall. Just a simple, graffiti. cute little hoodie. No, it's not graffiti, babes. If you use your elbows, you'd see his jacket. I'm a bad bitch. So I look like a druggie. <laughs> I'm a shaker. It is really sweet. Do you know what? When I don't have an all black outfit on that looks like I'm going to the gym, it's really fucking cute. <laughs> Plus my receipt. It was 35 pounds. 32! Give with the program. So when you're on a date and you're yeah. like, ah, I'm cold. And then they're like, ah, just have my jacket. And it yeah, suits me better. I don't know what this brand is called. It's called like Ale Fricton or something. Ale Frick Eden. <laughs> What did you Ale Frick Ale Frickman. The brand is called Ale Frick Eden and I've actually worked with them in the past. It's really bad that I don't know how to pronounce their name. They do the cutest tees ever and it is sustainable. I love a sustainable haul. This is the first top. You won't have seen this on the Grammy because I haven't taken a photo, but the next two that I'm going to show you, hey, on the green. What does it say? Does that say love? No, it says all for the gram. Bitches love the gram. So this brand's fashion, in my personal opinion, is very like Japanese streetwear, which is why I love this one so much. And they jump on trends so quickly. You see the butterfly trend was a massive thing. Here's a photo of me in it on their page. <laughs> Can't believe I actually got a feature. Wow. I'd probably just wear this with cycling shorts again. Like, it's just very easy wearing. You look cool regardless what you wear on the bottom because the top's so freaking sweet. This one's also very similar. I received so many comments when they shared the photo of me. All of the comments were saying, why does it say boom time? Do you know what? I have no idea. If it said boom town, I'd get it more because obviously that's a festival. But I can't 
I haven't. Woo! This one's very like staying over at our boy's house chill vibes in the morning. You want to look cute, but you also want to look like you're just lounging around. This is the vibe. I also took a photo in the Minga skirt with this. Okay, I'm going to you can just, just go follow it at this right. I think it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Literally one of the best brands ever. They have such a range on their website. Link in the description. Not affiliate. Do go check them out. And I've got one more top from these guys. And then I'm going to flip back to the thrifted items. And I put it on backwards. So that's good, isn't it? Even though it's too big for me. Who gives a toss? I mean, the print is like very far down. It would probably look a lot better with like a bigger build. Yeah, it totally would look a lot better. I don't care. I kind of wear this to just lounge around in, look cute, you know. I'm that lazy. I'm not even going to put them on. Sorry about it. But that would look really sweet. Can you guys believe that this was £25? And it's Tommy Hilfiger. I just, I don't know how I got so lucky. So this vest is actually from Rocket Vintage and I used to always slate Rocket for being so expensive. This was in like a little bit of a sale section. And obviously you can wear it like this with some jeans, but I would prefer to style it. Like I'm about to style it. Oh my God, this is like literally Pinterest dreams. Give me a sec. I just think you're absolutely having me on. You really are absolutely having me on right now. This is just the cutest private school girl fit I've ever seen in my life. Oh, with the collar and it's... <laughs> Oh yes, this is to die for. I know so many people in the comments are gonna hate this, but like this is my Pinterest fantasy, guys. Harriet, head girl. You shake the hand of the head girl out of respect. That is how I feel right now. Yeah. Okay, I need to take it off because I'm feeling myself far too much. I went into this vintage store and I think it was called Pick and Way or something like that. It was in replacement for Pop Beauty. They literally had a trunk full of bandanas for five pound each. The way that the shop works, you go in, each thing has a tag. You have to press the color tag and weigh the item and then it will tell you how much it is. Some of the items in there were pretty pricey and I wouldn't normally pay five pound for a bandana. She's in the mood to shop. Obviously you could wear this at a cute little top number, but as you know guys, I always put my bandanas on my head. Guys, that is so pretty. It even falls really nice at the back. I'm so happy with my purchases. Thank you so much to Minga and Alfred Eden for sending me the cutest clothes ever. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this haul. I know it was a little bit different, but I always want to showcase more sustainable vintage type clothing. And again, sorry about the brand new Melville part, but I'm just really happy with my purchases. Thank you again to Estrid for working with me on this video and make sure you check them out in the description as well. Remember the discount code, guys. Remember the discount code. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in the next video. Oh, this